Hello everyone and welcome to CXO Insights. I am joined today by Noor Fatin, the AVP for Global Sales Engineering at Reported Future. Welcome, Noor. Thank you so much for having me. Great. Thanks. Thanks. So, yeah. so it's a pleasure having you here with us. So if you can just kick us off with um, sharing an overview of what um, Reported Future is highlighting at Black Hat. Absolutely. So we're highlighting the fact that we've organized our intelligence into comprehensive solutions that can be applied regardless of what your security journey is and the security outcomes that you're looking to achieve. So we're talking things like mitigating ransomware risk, mitigating supply chain risk, exposure management, digital risk protection. These are all sort of um, macro issues in cybersecurity, which we've applied our intelligence to solving specifically. So intelligence shouldn't be seen as something that's a, you know, a niche requirement that can only be used in a certain uh, uh, a tiny sector of your cybersecurity strategy, it's something that can be applied holistically uh, depending on the outcome that you're looking to achieve. And given that we're here right now in Saudi yeah. Arabia, um, a country that's you know undeniably playing a, a big role in terms of driving innovation in cybersecurity, um, from from, re, um, from recorded futures perspective, how important do you think is this market in terms of uh, accelerating um, cybersecurity innovations? Yeah, it's extremely important because think about the vision this country has for 2030. That's a huge investment. That's a lot of infrastructure that needs to be built. That's a huge undertaking. With that investment in infrastructure, you need proper cybersecurity to defend it the entire way. So as this country do, continues to invest and develop, that's going to increase the cybersecurity requirement. And that means it's a really important market for the proper application of cybersecurity. That's going to be really crucial moving forward. And we don't see that stopping anytime soon. And obviously, um, a trend or a technology that we cannot not talk about, um, it's AI and machine yeah. learning. Yeah. So, um, you know, how can organizations keep the balance between AI and leveraging AI and machine learning in cybersecurity while still, you know, ensuring that concerns when it comes to data mm. is addressed properly. So I can't, I can't speak on the industry as a whole or in terms of AI or machine learning as a whole, but I can tell you our perspective, which is that our mission is constantly and has always been to use intelligence to mitigate risk. And I think that AI and machine learning are enablers for that. And I don't see them as a hurdle that's going to prevent us from achieving that. On the contrary, we're seeing very real applications already of machine learning and AI that are enabling compliance even more so than we were before. So I don't see it as a hurdle. Um, we personally don't see it as an ethical issue. I think AI is more about execution as, as opposed to innovation. So everyone has access to the same AI capabilities. It's how you execute on them. Uh, and it really depends on your ethics as an organization. We know ours, uh, we're seeing real applications of AI and machine learning and we're very happy with that so far.